Hey everyone, welcome back to Papa's Workshop. Today, I'm answering a question that has been asked by a number of different people. And it's how to set up the easel software on the X-Carb to be able to use the preset home position and that preset work zero position. I know there's been a lot of confusing about it, and I've even had some people say, when they push the work zero, the machine takes off and runs all over the machine. So today I wanna to show you exactly how you set it up so that you won't have that problem any longer. When you first turn on your machine, first thing you need to do is make sure that you have this green box over here. That means the machine is connected and ready to be able to be maneuvered. The next step is to come over here to the machine tab. I'm gonna click on that and I have a drop down menu that opens up and says home the machine. We're going to click that right now and go through the homing cycle. I enjoy bringing these videos to you to be able to help you be successful working with your CNC machine. But I need a little help also. Now if this material is valuable to you, I would certainly hope that you would take the opportunity to subscribe. And to be able to keep the YouTube algorithms happy, I would appreciate it if you would watch this short video all the way through. It really does wonders for the YouTube algorithms and it helps me out a lot. And along the way, I think you're going to learn a lot of information as you follow through and watch the entire video. At this point, the machine is homed, and it's home to the machine XY0 position, which is right here at this point. The next thing is I want to move it over to this point and establish that as my work home position. Now from this position, it's one inch over and two inches up to be able to get it to that position. I can close this window and come over to the far right hand side and I'm going to click on this window right here and that opens up this little box. At this point I want to lower the Z axis down so you can see it better. Right now it's going to move at 0.1 of an inch. I'm going to click the one inch and then we're going to move it down. <coughs> That way you'll be able to see it easier. Now, to be able to move on the X and the Y axis, I'm going to set this at the one inch so that you can see this movement. And I said on the X axis, I need to move one inch. And then on the Y axis, I need to move two inches. That gives me exactly to the home position. But that is not actually set yet. We actually have to set it. Now that's at the work position. What I want to do is use this button down here and click the home position. Now that will move back to the machine home position. So let's click on it. So you can see how it moved right back to this position. Now because I use the work zero position on a regular basis, I can click my work zero and it'll go through that sequence and move right back to where it needs to be. And you can see how it moved directly to it. Let me lower the z-axis down again. And you can see that's exactly where it is. Now the next thing I want to do is move this over. I'm going to set this at two inches at a time. And then I'm going to move over six inches on the x-axis and on the y-axis. That would be two, four, and six and that shows you how it's moving two inches at a time going through each of the individual squares now if i want to move let's just say all six inches at once i can type in the six inches right there click on the y-axis and i'll move up to that point if i want to go to my work zero 
If I click that work zero, it's going to go back to where it started from. But what if I want to set this new point as my work zero position? I'm going to just pick a real simple um, square object off of my uh, shapes menu up here and we'll just select that. We will put this right down at the zero zero position. So I'm going to come to here and you can see my bottom left corner. That's the bottom left corner that's identified right here. And I want to put that at the zero zero position which is my home position and you can see how it moves right down to the bottom left hand corner. Now I'm going to select carve and we're going to go through the steps. So we'll click on this, this, this. We'll even probe it just so it'll be at the zero position. We'll click on this. Oh. So we'll click on this. Clip is attached. Let's make contact. And we'll probe it. So the probe is done. So this is out of the way. We have the machine exactly where I want it. So I'm going to set the XY0 right there. That's going to be the work position. Now if I select over here, home, we'll do that. So that, that brings me back to the machine home position. Now let's click on the work zero. And you see it will move right back to the six inches by six inches on that square. Let's move my z-axis down. You can see that it's right on that point. Now at this point, I'm going to set my 6 inches again on my x and y axis and I'm going to return it back to my original position that I had it. So I'm going to select this tab right here and then over to the left and that brings me to my work position that I typically use. But keep in mind I haven't set it. I haven't told the machine that yet. So if I click on work zero, where is it going? Notice it went back to the home position first to be able to get the reference and then it went to that work position which was the 6 inches on the X and 6 inches on the Y. And until I reset that, it's going to stay at that position. So at this point, I want to be able to return it back. We'll go this way and this way. And then I'm going to set that as my work zero position. Now we've talked about these two preset selections here. The next thing I want to talk about is this right here. I can click on this button and it will bring it home also. So let's do that now. And there you have it. It's right back at this position. And I'll use this one and I'll go back over to my work zero. And you can see how it goes back to that same position at the six and six. Six, x, six inches on the x axis, six inches on the y axis. If I want to set this back to where I had it to begin with, you just do the same, follow the same steps. So you can see, I can select this tab right here or this one right here. Either one of them will bring me back to my machine zero position. 
and this really will save you a lot of time by being able to move your machine exactly where you want it. Now I went through the checklist again and I'm at this same window and I can set now my XY0 position and that is going to give me back at my original position that I had. So if I want to set and click on the home And now I'll click on the work zero. And you can see where it went. Let's lower the Z axis. And you can see it's right back at that point. Now that's how you can use the preset positions to be able to go to your machine home and your work zero home position. <laughs> They're very effective and they definitely will save you some time. Now I hope you'll be able to learn something from this very short video today, but I think it's a very important lesson that everybody needs to learn to be able to effectively work with their machine and take advantage of some of these shortcuts that are available. So until next time, I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the shop real soon. So for now, bye-bye.